Hi everyone, this is Carolyn from Mommy Ramblings, and this is a story that we looked at in last night's live in one of the parts, because we had to come on several times if you were watching due to some technical difficulties, and so that this is a very current story. This happened on the 11th of March, so I wanted to bring it in its separate video because, again, things get lost in lives. This is the horrific, horrific case of a mother in Lenore City, Tennessee, where she did the absolute unthinkable to her three-year-old son. And if you were with us in the live, it's similar to a case that we've looked at in the past, but this is a totally new case. I know people were getting confused and thinking it was the same case. This is a, a brand new case, unfortunately. Um, and DCS was, you know, visiting that home several times in the past, and yet this still happens. So that system is so broken to say the least, right? Beautiful little boy lost his life, you know, due to the mother is charged with this. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so the Lenora City Chief of Police, Don White, gave the details at a uh, press conference earlier. The child's grandmother called 911 at about 2.40 a.m. and she told dispatchers that the boy was unconscious. And investigators said that she came to the McGee Square Apartments located at 225 Kelly Lane after she got a call from her daughter 38-year-old Melanie Sue Brown. As her mother was questioning about her, about her about where her son was, she got very concerned and drove over to the apartment complex. When the grandmother arrived, she found Brown in the parking lot and said the two walked inside together. And that's when she found her grandson, King Brown, unconscious on the floor and called 911. The grandmother started CPR at the direction of the 911 dispatcher. The grandmother tried desperately to save her grandson, and while she was trying to save her grandson, well, Melanie started stabbing herself. And by the time authorities arrived, Melanie was unresponsive. First responders arrived and pronounced little King Brown dead and transported Melanie to the hospital. Chief White said they believe the mother cut the boy with a large kitchen knife and they do not believe anyone else was involved. All evidence leads to Ms. Brown, Miss Melanie Brown as our primary suspect and who committed this horrific crime against her son, he said. We just want to know, we just want to know, you know, what led up to this, to this end. DCS had been called to that residence several times. King's father does not live in the area. White said his officers and DCS had been called to Brown's apartment several times in the past and that some of his officers were familiar with King because they'd seen him playing outside. Neighbors told the local media that Brown was well known in the apartment complex and was often out on his own. He was always out. I mean, always running, playing. Like I said, was telling you, he loved his action figures, his Captain America, said neighbor Mike Helton. Helton said he was a rowdy little guy, but it was obvious that he was seeking some attention. He came over to my son's birthday party and, you know, had cake and ice cream and just had a blast. You know, he was just, he wanted to be fit in, loved, said Helton. Neighbor Nathan Rose told the local same media station that his son and daughter used to play with little King. Me and my wife have been, has been crying a little bit this morning. Not something you expect to hear or wake up to, he said. King would have been four in April. His mother, Melanie Brown, faced prior charges. According to court records, she was arrested in 2017 for driving with a suspended license. Those records state that an officer pulled her over for driving 17 miles an hour over the speed limit. Investigators found that her license was already suspended for failure to pay fines in Knoxville. 
She was later arrested in 2018 for failing to appear in court for that prior charge. I did some looking and this is the apartment complex in Lenore City, Tennessee. It appears to be a Section 8 housing unit. Not that, you know, anything is wrong with that or that would have caused this, but I'm just pointing that out as a matter of fact in discussing this case. And here's another view of the apartments as shown on Google Maps. Street view. And we say rest in peace to little King Brown, who was just another little boy, little child that fell through the cracks of this broken CPS system. And you know, the police recalled several times and were very familiar. What part do they play in this as well? I mean, We've got to get our acts together here because too many children, too many children are losing their lives and it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. We've got, we've got to fix something here. And this is just so sad. Again, rest in peace, little King Brown and prayers for his family, especially that poor grandmother who had to endure just unimaginable, unimaginable. Um, heartbreaking. It just there are no words. There are no words. It's it's much like that other case where the daughter called her mother and the mother walked in on that, and the 911 operator even made her go in the bedroom and and witness what happened to multiple of her multiple grandchildren. It's just absolutely heart wrenching, and our hearts go out to her and his other family members, his friends, the neighbors there that are all affected by this, all affected by this. It's got to stop, has to stop. Thanks for watching, guys.